what punishment would they get if they were real? What I'm thinking is that Andrew doesn't get any punishment, and Ashley gets the punishment of an hour in my bed. Guys, I want to introduce you to my girlfriend Ashley. Aw, she's so cute. Where did you get her? On Tinder? Or did you like, go outside? I doubt it. She looks gorgeous? Yeah, she does. You are a lucky guy, sir. She looks just like my girlfriend. <laughs> Relatable? What the fuck? It's almost like we both have the same girlfriend. What are the odds? Beware of... Well, just beware. Oh, no, 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 no. The thing is there. there, there, there there's the creature. Help! Help! If you don't breed me, I'll start screaming and crying until the neighbors make a noise complaint. That is one hell of a threat. But she does not know that all the neighbors are dead, yeah. Wait, wait, I just realized that if you just read the colored words, it says, Breed me until the neighbors complain. <laughs> that is crazy. I absolutely love this part. Oh and it's God, the I'm scene where Andrew has a boner. Oh okay, so it seems like these are just a couple of friends getting excited over the fact that Andrew has a boner. Which is kind of gay, okay? If you guys are watching this, just warning you that it's pretty gay. When I tried playing the call for Nevada and with my friends, it was very different from this. Uh, no one punches batteries like you do. I stand here and awe your very existence with those nice ass titty. <laughs> oh, the unholy ones, I come seeking your advice. I want some dick, nigga. <laughs> I don't think he said that. I'll show a clip if I still have one lying around. We also did some comic dubs. Oh, harder, Andy. Brian, stop throwing! <laughs> Let me know if you want us to voice over the full game. Oh wait, it's an I don't know starting uh, thing, right? Wait, I know this guy, I know this guy. Right here are two siblings called Andrew and Ashley Graves. As you see here, they are in a vision where both of them fuck each other. All I can say is that this looks so hot and I'm edging to it right now as we speak. You are edging to it? I am edging to it too. This is, um, this is actually kind of funny though. I have never seen anything like this. Also, the AI work here is beautiful. Buying your sister a single can of soda is too expensive. Now nah, you can't buy that, bro. That's too much money. But smoking three packs of cigarettes a day. Yeah, you can do that. For better or for worse, which one of our incestuous idols would you want to be real in our world today? I love how they specified that the image is hot. It is indeed a very hot image. If I wanted to survive, I would pick Andrew because I can probably beat the shit out of him. Like, look at him, bro. He has little arms. He probably can't even lift a 10-pound dumbbell. But if I'm gonna be honest, I would go with Ashley. Even if she doesn't like me, she might kill me in a romantic and hot way, which I would really enjoy. This video is called The Average T called Fan Art Enjoyer and it says that it features me, Lectern. I am kind of concerned because I don't remember recording anything with this person. Hello everybody. I have recently discovered my true What the fuck? Is that me? <laughs> that, that sounds like me. <laughs> in life, edging to the coffin of Andy. That is my Discord profile picture. <laughs> Andy and Laylee porn on Reddit. Yes, you heard that right and no, I'm not kidding. I've I did not say that. 6 hours while editing this video and I can't stop jerking it. Picture this. It's a late Saturday night, and I'm deep uh -huh. into the Reddit rabbit hole. I don't go to Reddit for fun. Mysteries. I do it for videos. Then, I swear. Bam! I stumble upon the coffin of Andy and Laylee Porn. No. My first thought: Well, this is a thing that exists. That's not My what I think. Thought, Why am I strangely intrigued? Feast I'm not intrigued. This magnificent art. Behold no. the creativity, the passion, questionable no. life choices. It's like the Mona Lisa of NSFW fans. That's not me. Now some might say. Why oh why would you spend your time on such nonsense? I to don't. Him, I say, why not? No, that, that's not me. You know what, Furball? You've just earned yourself a new subscriber. That's your 216th. Enjoy. And I like the video too. I'll link this video in the description because it is funny as fuck. How I look when I'm deciding what to order and there's discounts for couples. I want bro, not the food. Okay, this is actually something that I could see Andrew and Ashley doing since they are broke as fuck. And when they are eating out, they might need a discount. Who knows? Maybe we even see something like that in Chapter 3. You know, in their teenage days, they go out to eat something and they need that discount. What do you think will be the name of Episode 4? Episode 1 was Cotton, Episode 2 was Graves, and Episode 3 is gonna be Decay and Burial. And apparently there's also gonna be an Episode 4, which I actually didn't know because I didn't look at the last progress report. This also means that Decay won't end with Ashley dying. I think. Anyways, I feel like episode 4 could be called something like Revival because both Decay and Burial are kind of ways of dying. Either your body decays or you're buried and then you are revived. I think that would make sense. This is the name, Sibling Breeding. Friend, would you kill me for dinner with Ashley? Me. <laughs> I'm sorry.
Now, to say that I wouldn't kill someone to have dinner with Ashley is a lie, but I wouldn't kill my friends to have dinner with Ashley. That is ridiculous. Taking Ashley to random places, day three. Some flowers in my neighborhood. Wait, I've seen this before. I've seen this before. Wait a sec. Yeah, here we got more. We got taking Ashley to random places, day four, and it's Subway. That is a really romantic date idea. I'm gonna take my Ashley to Subway too. Definitely my favorite ship dynamic. They both consent, are legal adults, and are not related. So Ashley is saying boring. Um, so Ashley, are you saying boring to the fact that they are not related? Or to the fact that they are legal adults? Do you want to smash a child, Ashley? She seems innocent in my eyes. And we have all of our crimes listed up. Okay, let me go through these. Let me see. Okay, seems about right. Yeah. Um, what is this? Minor slash child pornography. Ashley, what the fuck? She called pilot episode apartment. Why is she looking at me like that though? You know, she got me feeling things. Like you have no idea. I'm smiling back at her right now. If I had my webcam on, you would see my big ass grin. Visualizing in the mirror the man I want to become. Trust me, sir, you do not want to become Andrew. Have you seen that man? He is basically skin and bones. He has not a single bit of muscle tissue on his body. He is as twinky as it gets. He, he isn't attractive. I don't know how women can look at him and say that he is attractive. These voice actors voice over the couple of Andy and Lele and tried contacting Kit9 to get their voices added to the game. Now that's never gonna happen because the couple of Andy and Lele is a game where you're supposed to have voices in your head while you slowly go schizophrenic. But it's still kind of a good voice acting performance which I wanted to share with you guys. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me! Okay now, they are good voice actors but I do not really like their voices. That's all I had to say, I didn't even have anything deeper to say. Now if there are any voice actors out there who have an attractive voice, that sounded really creepy, I'm not- uh... If the siblings were furry, what animals would they be? You know what, Andrew, you are allowed to kill Ashley. Usually I'm all for defending Ashley, but you can slit her fucking throat. Have fun, man. There are entirely too many Ashleys here. I am more concerned about the original picture than the edit. Why are there five black men and a little girl here? I mean, yeah, I get that it's supposed to mimic the devlog, but what is this supposed to be? Ooh, wait, I've seen one of these, I've seen one of these. I'm gonna fill it out real quick. This is my objectively correct opinion, starting off with the fan favorite. We, of course, have Ashley. I don't think I have to say anything else for that. She just is the best. She's the main character, and she's a woman. Then we have Made to be Hated, the mom. Some people like the mom. Bro, she is not a MILF. She will not fuck you. She is not even hot, bro. Did you see her? She's dressed in a fucking office suit. She is made to be hated because she literally tries to kill her children, okay? Then we have the hot one, Ashley has tits, Ashley has ass, she is hot. We have the only normal person, which is these two normal people that I found in the game files. I don't even know if you can see them in the real game, but they seem like normal people, so I put them there. And for, um, what's your name again? We have Nina. Ashley literally forgets her name, so I thought that she would be pretty fitting here. And the gremlin, Lele. Mmm, society, we have the dad, because he's a working man, he's broke, he doesn't have a job, he hates his life, he fits here pretty well. And for just straight up evil, we have Julia. Fuck you, Julia. And for no screen time but relevant, we have the surgeon because he locked Andrew and Ashley in the apartment. Do you prefer Ashley or Julia? Is this a genuine question? Is this seriously a question that you're asking right now? I don't think there's a single person that would prefer this disgusting thing over this gorgeous woman here. See, Ashley, because she is so loving and pure. 